Gennady Golovkin trainer Abel Sanchez says Golovkin after Canelo may move up to 168. Stay tuned. Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you guys smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new for the latest and greatest in boxing. Now, September 16th is the date Golovkin versus Canelo for the IBF, the IBO, the WBA, and maybe the WBC. And the reason I say maybe is because Canelo seems to have some kind of feud with the WBC, and he was going to get received the winner of Canelo Chavez was going to receive a WBC Wicho belt a commemorative edition belt it was a, it was a man-made weight class the, the Chavez Jr. fight 164.5 but Canelo says even if I win I don't want that belt and he doesn't like the way he's been treated so I don't know what he's going to do if he beats Golovkin if he's going to accept the WBC belt however Abel Sanchez trainer Gennady Golovkin he did a recent interview with ESPN Deportes, and I'm going to read some pull quotes. He said a lot of interesting things. So, Abel says, The fight with Canelo is the only thing on our minds. We are going to concentrate on that fight. If we do not do well, then it doesn't matter what we think right now. Which is a, a good point. We have to prove that Golovkin is the best middleweight in the world, and if we do, and the fight is good, there can be a rematch. He also says, these fights are the ones we needed. We have not had a Vasquez, Marquez, Barrera, Morales, Marquez, Pacquiao in a long time. If we can have a rematch, we would welcome them. But if not, I think Golovkin already did what he had to do at that weight. And we would raise the possibility of climbing to 168 pounds. So... This is news to me, and the thing that's that makes me curious is it's weird how a lot of the promoters and trainers, what they say now and then doesn't make sense, and it doesn't, it's not consistent. Like, you could take recent interviews and recent quotes from magazines and just different articles, and Abel Sanchez made it clear that... Golovkin is going after middleweight supremacy to, to have as many title defenses as Bernard Hopkins or to beat him. And the goal was to unify the division. But obviously taking the Canelo fight, a guy who this is really his first fight at the regular 160. I guess you can add the Chavez Jr. fight, but that was technically above middleweight. And that was at super middleweight technically, if you really want to be be technical because it's in the middle so that is clearly a money fight it's a fight we wanted so obviously people aren't going to complain about that however it's just weird that the directives from team Golovkin have suddenly changed like I thought it was all about all the belts you know Golovkin when when Canelo had the belt he was like all the belts all the belts hashtag all the belts give me my belts and then now all of a sudden it seems like they're, they're considering moving up to super middleweight. So the timing seems really weird to me because another thing is 168 was you had people. You had Badu Jack, Floyd Mayweather said, I want Golovkin to fight my fighter, Badu Jack. He has since left. He's moving up to light heavyweight. You had James DeGale who was in a rough fight. I thought he lost to Badu Jack. You had George Groves that just became a champion. So 168 it has some names. Alberto Zordo Ramirez and a couple people, but 160, just a little while ago, there wasn't much action. It was really Golovkin looking like the best, the best name there, right? And it didn't look like anyone could rival him, but we since know that Danny Jacobs gave Golovkin a very tough fight. Whether you had Golovkin winning or Jacobs winning, it was tough. And now Canelo's there. Jamal Charlo, who looked great in his very last fight at 154. Big dude, athletic, crazy jab, power, nasty uppercut. 
So it was shaping up. David Lemieux says he wants a rematch. I don't know if he can do much better because he would have to get past Golovkin's jab, but 160 is heating up, which is my point, right? We know Daniel Jacobs can give Golovkin a tough fight and a tough out because he already did. Uh, David Lemieux, he's bounced back very nicely, and he says he knows what to do now if he were to rematch Golovkin, right? That remains to be seen. Canelo's there. Jamal Charlo, like I said. You have Aventel Curtice fighting Billy Joe Saunders, and that's the only missing link to Golovkin if he beats Canelo, having all the belts. So it's, it's just funny to me that the whole, every interview I've seen from the two, and I even have one of the interviews, like I was there asking him, and Golovkin was he's basically saying he wants to be the man at middleweight, and he wants to unify all the belts, undisputed. Now, all of a sudden, it doesn't look like Undisputed is in the plans. Like, they don't want to wait for Billy Joe Saunders. They know there's Jamal Charlo is very dangerously close to being a number one mandatory. Now, they're thinking about leaving. So, maybe there's something behind the scenes where if they beat Canelo and, let's say, he doesn't want to rematch or Canelo beats him and they don't want to rematch, maybe Golovkin has been struggling to make the weight at 160. I don't know. Because everyone keeps saying, they keep saying he's a small middleweight. So it's just weird. And I want to know what you guys think. Why all of a sudden the mission is to not collect that last belt. And to now head up to 168. Like I said, there's some actual good fights now at 160. Whereas a little while ago, there there weren't. Jamal Charlo was still at 54. Canelo was at 54. David Lemieux, like I said, has bounced back. Some people thought Daniel Jacobs would get thrashed by Golovkin, but he actually held his own, and we know that would be a good rematch. So I don't, I don't see why Golovkin's team all of a sudden wants out of 160 if they can't get a Canelo rematch. But that's my two cents. Let me know what you guys think. Obviously, Abel, he said something that I definitely agree with, and all this talk and speculation and stuff, it doesn't matter. They have to do good versus Canelo because, I mean, that's going to ultimately determine the outcome of that fight. But it looks like the mission has changed for Team Golovkin. Let me know why. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you share the video. Like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video's ego signed up. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego the future of boxing.